So today I only had one class and it's now 11.30 at night and I had like, it's been 12 hours since the end of my class. So my class was from 10.15 to 11.30 and in these 12 hours I could have done whatever I want. But I have other stuff to do like for school also. Like I have assignments for other courses, I have my final project. But most of my time was spent learning about React.js. React.js is a JavaScript framework used for front-end development. So my final project, which since I'm in my fourth year, there's a final year project that brings everything you've learned in your four years of uh, engineering into one big project that you do uh, in the team. And we are developing a website and I decided to make the front end development of it with another teammate. So I'm learning about React.js. In school, they will not teach you about a lot of stuff. So most of the stuff you have to learn on yourself, especially in engineering and especially in computer engineering. So if you don't know about computer engineering, computer engineering is in the middle between software engineering and electrical engineering, but it's more skewed toward the electrical part. So you have a lot more electrical classes about circuits, about signals, about electronics, than classes about programming. So you don't have any uh, UI or U user experience uh, classes. You don't have like more languages classes. So it's a bit of a trade-off in computer engineering. Personally, I like more the classes about software than ele uh, electrical. But if you told me like, if you go, can go back three years ago and decide what program to go in, I would have still gotten into computer engineering. Not only I learned a lot about myself and what I really, really love, which is more software part, but I really learned about both fields. And I know what I enjoy, what I dislike, what I hate, and what I really love. So this is my two cents for any future university student. Make sure to be 100% confident in what you're gonna get in. Because if not, you're really gonna hate yourself and you're really gonna, not gonna enjoy your time and it's like gonna be time wasted almost. So look up the different classes that you're gonna pay take in. Make some research, know what you really love and like test some stuff in high school. Learn how to program a bit. Do you really like it? Maybe learn about Arduino. Do you write, like doing circuits? Maybe if you're into mechanical, make an RC car, anything like that will get you hands on and prepare you for what to expect in engineering. It's very difficult to stay motivated and stay focused in, in classes that you don't like. And this is what happened to me in electrical classes that I didn't really like. You had to pass them somehow and thankfully I did pass them, but I did not enjoy my time whatsoever. Going back to computer engineering, it has some computer core classes that I really enjoyed, but also putting this with the some software classes that we had, the computer degree would have been perfect for me if, if it did not include the electrical classes. However, I get why the electrical classes are important to at least know some stuff about them and not ignore them as a whole. Nonetheless, I'm very grateful and thankful to be happy at the opportunity to go into any like engineering school and any engineering program. But uh, my two cents is really make your research before applying into any program you're gonna go into. All right guys, so that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, yes, you, you. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and drop a like down below. And if you have any questions about engineering school or computer engineering, drop them down below as well. I'll try to answer them to my best of my abilities and hopefully they'll be helpful for you. And subscribe for more content like this if you enjoyed it, of course. This is Ginger TV and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.